713 in Santa Monica. The light is muted. The sun is behind all the fog and it's kind of nice. It's always a little chilly in the morning, which is great. You can, I guess if you had really great, you know, nasal sensors, you could tell that we were fairly near the ocean. I have a show tonight in Los Angeles. I'm playing with some excellent musicians, which is one of the high points of my life. And I'm really excited about the show. I have a lot of ideas gestating. I have a certain amount of fear gestating along with that. But, you know, I hope it's an 80-20 relationship, excitement to fear, which is about right. I started thinking about, you know, creative types, artist types, dancers, musicians, poets, painters. And in some way, it struck me that We've all got something missing. This this hole that constantly needs to be filled. This this sort of reaching out for an extra form of attention. Look at me. Look at me. Hear what I I'm saying. Let me show you what I've found. Which of course is infinitely better than just look at me. And uh, that doesn't those those people don't really count as creative types. We both share the need, but. I think the creative types have come up with, you know, some sort of compensatory offerings. But I, I definitely have that that feeling. It came probably for me. I was the third in a family of four. My older sister was the oldest. She got attention because she was the oldest. My older brother was the oldest boy, and my younger sister was just the you know the cute baby. So. At least that was my perception. I don't really think it's true, but nonetheless, I hold that idea that I always had to do something special just to get noticed. And I hope I can, you know, do something special tonight and get noticed again. <laughs>